Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the carbon content in structural steel. Now for more videos covering engineering problems or AP exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Okay guys, so which of the following statements is true about the effect of increasing carbon content in structural steel? Increase in yield stress, reduce ductility, increase modules of elasticity, or increase in ultimate strength. So let's take a look at the stress and strain graph for the high carbon content structural steel and normal carbon content, and let's compare those two. So this is our stress and strain diagram. This graph here represents the high carbon steel. This one represents the normal carbon content steel. Now let's see if actually increasing carbon content increases our yield stress. Now, as you guys know, the yield stress usually happens right before we have permanent deformation. So it's going to be somewhere here. Now note guys that this yield stress is actually higher than this yield stress. So yes, increasing carbon content does increase the yield stress. Now let's take a look at ductility. Well, what is ductility? So ductility is the amount of energy absorbed at failure. So this is where we have usually failure, right? This is where a fracture happens and our steel just fails. And this point here presents the failure. So if we take the area under this curve, that actually represents ductility. So note guys here that the area under this curve, it's much larger than the area under this curve. And so increasing carbon content, it does reduce ductility and it makes steel more brittle. Now for modules of elasticity, it actually does not get affected if we increase carbon content in the steel. And let me tell you why. So modules of elasticity represents the slope of this graph, right? It's the elastic linear zone. And so if you guys see here that the slope of this graph is the same slope as the, this graph, right? And so your modules of elasticity, it actually does not change. So here, this is wrong. It does not increase or decrease, it stays the same. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is the ultimate strength. So ultimate strength is the maximum stress that a material can withstand while increasing load right before it fails. So it's always the highest point in your graph. So this point is going to be the ultimate strength and this point is going to be the ultimate strength as well. Now note guys that this ultimate strength is much higher than this ultimate strength. So increasing carbon content, it does increase our ultimate strength. So the answer is going to be C. If you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets, you can visit my website, enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.